caravan escapades. In fact, welcome back to part three of our French 2022 holiday tour. Um, hope you're all keeping safe and well. So we've just left our um, last site before we get to our main site down in Fréjus. Um, we left reasonably early, about sort of quarter past eight. It's Sunday morning because we wanted to make good headway. Um, we're actually heading down over the mountains, so we've got a bit of a bendy and twisty route, probably for just over two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. And uh, we'll end up in Freju. So welcome back to part three. If you've not watched parts one and two, probably worth going back and doing that before you crack on with this one. And we'll see you in a bit. Well, this has become a bit of an adventure. Car's coping well, but it's a bit tight and narrow, I must admit, in certain places. Of that bit, it was uh, that was the last bit I recorded. <laughs> it was a lot longer than that, so uh, ca cars coping well. We just got to take your time because some of the corners we are having to cross onto the opposite side of the road, but it seems to have settled out a bit for now. So, just an example of some of the views as we kind of work our way down. I don't know how well it's coming through on the camera but here in real life it's absolutely spectacular. Okay, just absolutely spectacular. Never thought I'd be driving with a big caravan on rows like this. I don't know whether you can see down there, there's a big switch back coming up. So I'm gonna leave the camera on for a minute. Loads of switch backs as we go down. I can imagine if you're into motorbiking, which I'm not, but uh, these would be your ideal roads. Uh, it's just amazing. Uh, there's a 
lot of backwards and forwards and obviously it's taken us longer to get there. Some of the bits are a bit narrow, you've got to be a little bit more cautious. Uh, what I'm not enjoying is the MPG, it's dropped to 14 miles per gallon, but it's got to be expected. Um, but I think for a, for a one-off, well worth doing it. And also what I'm not enjoying, poor old Darcy May's feeling trouble sick, we're going backwards and forwards. Um, she's not enjoyed it so much. She's been sick once already, so uh, that's a bit of a shame. She's kind of sat in the back feeling a little bit sorry for herself, which is a real shame. Oh, she's just said she's feeling better now, but she was sick earlier on. I think the quells have kicked in. Yeah, so we've got some quells and we've, we've put wristbands on, so we've all we've all come out in sympathy with Darcy May and put kind of travel sick bands on just to help her out. So yeah, but the scenery, in fact, we're coming up to a Brava here. I'm just going to spin you around now. I don't know what you'll be able to see. Um, wow. But yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just fantastic. It really is. I mean, this is quite mild. I think we kind of must be coming down a little bit now. Sorry, what did you say, Darcy May? Don't no, listen to the beat. Yeah, no, that's the basically the other thing. The tyres are getting a little bit warm on the caravan, uh, but I think that's more to do with the heat than uh, than anything else. Well, as in the brown tradition, when we're on our French holidays, we always kind of make a slight mistake or go the most indirect <laughs> route when we've travelled sort of nearly a thousand miles and we get to within a few miles of. Uh, of the actual site it seems that i've done it again we basically uh, we're not too far away from the site but we've ended up coming down through the center of Fréjus and san rafael and stuck in traffic on these tight roads and that sort of stuff but hey ho it's part of the holiday uh, it <laughs> will be not in rafael. Uh, san rafael we are look rafael Raf rafael rafael anyway whatever we we we're there and we're, we're not too far away but we've kind of stuck in traffic and added some delays but hey ho we're nearly here and the sun's shining that's because you're following two sat navs oh look at it so we are it's a little it's the beach there's a little oh, beach there. Look there look so we are san rafael here's the harbour oh, yeah. Like the London Eye. The London Eye is a big wheel. We do have one of those in Nottingham. In fact, we've been on the one in Nottingham. Yeah, yeah at Christmas. Um, at Christmas, so. Not the greatest of routes to be with the caravan, but scenic anyway. So hopefully we should be able to clear it soon, but I'm sure this is one of the places we're gonna come and visit. Yeah, because we're gonna stay here for three weeks. Yeah. And I think we've been here. <laughs> Lots of days with the old lady. So this is San Rafael. Rafael, we're quite not sure how to pronounce it. Claire and I have been having a little tomorrow. argument. Can we what? No, we're we're having, we're 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 having not... had an argument. We've just had a little. I think I'm right. Yeah, but can we go there tomorrow? Well, we've seen Darcy Bay. There's lots of other places, but we'll definitely come back here. Um, and we're almost certain we've been here before anyway. Yeah, well, we've got lots of we other have beaches. Been here because Daddy went for a while we, we round this corner. So we're literally about a kilometre away, I think, now um, before we get to the site. What I normally do is a kind of a Google Maps view just to look at the way in, but to be honest with you, I forgot this time. So it's been quite a, uh, a different journey today across the mountains. Turn left onto Route Savari. So it is somewhere up here. We need to keep looking out for the signs for it. Esther L Caravan in. Here it is. Um, I forgot that I had a big swimming pool. So here we are. Now it's here, look, Esterel Caravan in. Um, welcome bus. Welcome bus. Not sure, so we obviously got to come up here. I don't know what this person's trying to do. That's a pretty good. Welcome bus. Yeah. I don't 
where the reception is. Here we go. What's this? Uh, caravan in motorhomes. Um, I'm not sure where we're going. Ask that man. Ask that man, Daddy. I think here. Yeah. Yeah, this one. This one. I think we must stop here and uh, need to go and check in. Right, we're here. So let's go and check in. We'll come back to you in a minute. Car. Yeah, we are. So we've been told to follow uh, the buggy. So we're just following them now. Turn right onto the alley, then take the first right. You just have to go a little bit slow. They've got shade, I think. Gosh, it's a little narrow for a big old caravan like ours. Stop lady, stop lady, stop lady. It's all right. She's okay, she's going to wait for us. Look, she realises. Gosh, it is very warm. I've yeah. got the window open. Me too. Incredibly warm. There's someone setting up or packing. I probably think they're packing, yeah, they're packing to go. Somebody yeah. else arriving on their pitch by the looks or leaving. The... <laughs> we might have to wait a minute while these manoeuvre onto the pitch, so I shall just turn this off. So we're here and we're all set up. Oh, took a little bit longer than I expected to set up. Um, incredibly hot. Um, but yeah, we're here, we're on the site. Here's our pitch, as you can see, and there's the look down the road. And here we are, we've got a shed in the corner. It's got a fridge, uh, a freezer and a dishwasher in there. So we paid a little extra for that. Uh, we just thought the convenience of that might be quite useful. So we've had a quick look around the site, uh, it does look very good so far. Um, not done an awful lot but there's like a welcome meeting which we're going to head up there now, uh, check that out, grab something else to eat. Um, but we'll give you more of an intensive site tour over the next few days. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to hear me because it is a little breezy. Um, we've been down here for what, two days on the site now, um, so we decided not really anything special but just to pop down to Fraser's or the beach at Fraser's on the front and just kind of have a quick walk around um, just a few things out that sort of thing so as you can see so that's the beach at Fraser's uh, it's very warm at the moment it's about 35 degrees the sea is exceptionally warm you can see it's flapping over and we're literally just having a stroll along the beach and we're going to probably search out some of the coves and things like that for, for the days out so I've just moved back from the beach you can see the beach is down there we've kind of just walked to the end of the beach on the through fair. I believe we're at the end of Frejus now because um, there's Frejus there on San Rafael, Rafael. Um, so pretty much over here is San Rafael, Rafael I'm not sure how to pronounce it so we're going to take a bit of a wander around here for a short while there's a little bit of a marina here with some boats and things like that so we've just walked a little bit further along into the marina area If I can give you one bit of advice, if when you come down to Fraser's or you come down to 
Frasius and you do street parking is don't do as I did. Um, basically, you can see we've parked on the street and these great big, well, it's not great big, these little kind of concrete type posts there. Um, so we pulled up, we chatted in the car for two or three minutes and I opened my door with a clunk straight into one of the concrete posts and I put a little ding in the door, so I'm a bit gutted about that. So if you do do the main street parking, Might just watch it. out for the little concrete posts. Well, we've traveled about um, 20 minutes from the campsite and found this fantastic little cone. Um, that Clank's Del, Del Mobius. I mean, I'll put a link down below, but I'm not sure hey. I can. Um, I'm not sure I can pronounce that correctly. But it is really a fantastic little place. Um, quite a steep climb down. Um, in fact, let yeah. me. So this is the bay. Quite secluded. Nothing else here apart from um, people and a beach. The beach is quite pebbly. Um, looks like we've got some sort of party boat coming in by the looks. I'm not sure what that is. Daddy, can we go swimming together? Yep. Um, in a minute, Darcy, mate. In a minute, Darcy, mate. No. So, let me just kind of show you. Okay, so we are quite a steep side. So we've kind of had to walk down from up here. But the water is as clear as anything, and I really hope to be kind of filming some bits in the water. But unfortunately, I brought the GoPro with me, but it's flat, and I'm not quite sure why it's flat, because it was fully charged beforehand, but, uh, but it seems to be flat now. But yeah, I would give this a go if you get the chance, um, and you're in this area. Very little parking on the top, though. Hardly any parking at all, so it's a bit of a struggle to park. Um, it is quite pebbly, so it's not really a sandy beach, and the beach is quite short. Um, but it's definitely worth a trip down. Here's a quick view from the top. You think that's Claire and Darcy May down there? That's somewhere down there. And there are the steps I've got to go down. So I was quite gutted um, that the GoPro got no footage or no battery left because I wanted to kind of share some of this with you. Um, so what I've done is I've gone up to the car I've sat in there for 20 minutes. I've got about 10% of charge. So let's get underneath and let's share some of the water experience. Here we go. So we tried looking at most of the city. There's more fishes there.
see that the ice cream boat has arrived. We've just headed down to Agate, which is about, I think, two and a half miles from the campsite, so quite an easy sort of drive straight here. Uh, very pleasant spot. A few shops, bars, restaurants, that sort of thing. Um, I think we'll probably end up coming down here and spend some time on the beach, but just a quick visit, maybe grab something to eat. We just stopped for a spot of lunch at La Belle View Cafe, uh, which is right on the roundabout as you come into Agate. Uh, very nice, pleasant spot, as you can see. Looks very nice. It's nice and cool here under the shade, looking out into the Agate Bay. But we'll, we've ordered some food, so we'll let you know what it's like. So the food's just arrived. I've got the potato pate with bacon and a burger, or bacon and, and beef. Really got anything. And the guys here have got a ham pizza. Uh, all looks very, very nice. nice. All looks very it's tasty. Nice. We just headed down for a stroll on the beach. Still at Agate, just walking off our. So after spending a few hours at the beach this afternoon, well this morning, this afternoon, we come back to the caravan, we've had a barbecue, um, Claire and Darcy may have just gone up to shower block to wash up, I've just kind of had a shower, um, freshened up a little bit, that sort of thing, and when they get back, we're kind of deciding what we're going to do, whether we're going to go out or whether we're just going to chill out around the caravan. Um, so I think what I'll do at this point, let's bring this um, part three to an end. So we'll call this the end of part three and then we'll start tomorrow um, with part or we'll start in the next couple of days with part four. And what I'll do in part four is I'll bring you a site tour and show you a bit more about the site. So that's all from Caravan Escapades for part three of our French tour 2022 or our French holiday 2022. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit that notification button and you'll be notified when we put out more videos. So thanks again. Hope you've enjoyed the ride so far and we'll see you on the next one.